Hey, Drew, how's it going? Stanley and Kenny, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, thanks. Um, listen, I wanted to ask you because it's a weird spot where in March we were at, uh, you were doing interviews in the UK and you were sent back that day because of everything that was going on. And it was like two and a half weeks you had to process, okay, you're facing Lesnar, there's no crowd. And now we're kind of, at, we're a few months on, there's now people kind of in the crowd from the PC. We're starting to get a little bit of an atmosphere at the shows. Um, if you get past Lashley on Sunday, what are you thinking for SummerSlam, which is arguably, you know, the next huge pay-per-view? Um, are you looking at Edge and Orton and thinking one of those two would be a great opponent for you at SummerSlam? In your mind, how does the SummerSlam look like for you as champion and who would your opponent be? Um, I guess, first of all, you know, I love that we've got the, uh, it was the correct term right now, the performance center trainees <laughs> around the ring. Um, it does add that atmosphere. I think it's a little bit easier for the viewer to watch now. Um, so I have enjoyed that addition. Regarding SummerSlam, if when I get past Lashley, there's no ifs. Um, I, I've, I've also, on that note, I'm excited that you know, Lashley and MVP together is going to be you know, a good attraction going forward. And we finally figured out like this is exactly what Lashley needs to be. So, sorry, buddy, you are going to lose. You're going to get a kick in the head, but you're going to beat the top of the card because that's where you belong. And the killer Lashley is the Lashley we all deserve. Um, regarding SummerSlam, I think Orton is the one that has to happen. You know, right now, we're in a situation where we're building a lot of people, including myself. And uh, myself and Lashley together, I think we're able to help each other with MVP and bring each other up. You know, as I'm on my rise, establishing myself as champion and what my legacy is going to be. But someone like an Orton is somebody that can make me work up and really learn from. He's an, obviously an established face and people tune in. They're going to say, there's Randy Orton. If they've never you know, seen me before, they remember me from the past, they're going to go, oh, who's this guy? And we're, he's going to help tell that story and really establish me um, you know, as a top, top player. I think basically Randy Orton is my joker. I think there's a great storyline there, considering if you look at our youth, perhaps we didn't make the best decisions. And while I was perhaps punished, he was rewarded. I think I had to take the long way around <laughs> to get there. And Randy said himself, he doesn't always you know, try the hardest, but he's so good that things tend to work out. And I really had to work extremely hard to get to where I'm at today. And I think it's going to be very interesting from a story perspective. I know the matches will be good. And it's like I say, he's the joker. He's the one that's going to bring me up and he's the one that's going to cement my status, I think. So WWE, book it, please. <laughs>